Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is a very crisp and damp morning. So all packed up, ready to go with the tank bag on. I've got the Lomo dry bag on the back with the tent. I brought this with me and it's just as well I did. That's the bike cover. I brought that just in case and they needed it last night because it absolutely hammered it down. Yeah, peeps, don't forget your, uh, don't forget your side stamp hook when you're camping. So that's what Stave Church looks like. Just get a bit of air into this lid. Well, that shoulder's just starting again, you know. Not been on the bike five minutes and it's started. It's the way I'm hunched up on the bike, I'm sure it is. Here we go, here's the twisties. This is why I was just sat in second gear, using the back brake just to get round. There we go. First one, beautiful. Coming down this mountainside and then into the valleys. Brilliant. Such good views. All that mountain up there, that's all twisties. So you have to go all the way up in S-Bends all the way up to the top of the mountain to get to the other side of the mountain to get out of here. A 38 Drangadal, 38 to Amot. twisties all the way up the mountain to the other side so obviously we've just been up that mountain and now we're going up the other mountain that was on the other side beautiful down there oh, I could have done my first there Taking it a little bit steady around there because the waterfalls, slippy road. The last thing you want to do is uh, topple over. So this road here it takes you to Drangadal, but I'm hoping there's a right-hand turn to a place called Troingen, which is also part of the Telemark Canal. But from Troingen you can then go to Evier and then go with the nine and then get the 42 all the way back to Tonstad, which is up near me. But they're all like great roads. In Troy, gonna might get some breakfast as well. I'm starving. Oh, that tightened up a little bit, didn't it? Cheeky. So ladies and gents, we're just at a place called Troingen. Just popped in here. Just followed the 41 from um, Darlin down to here, down to Troingen. Nice little village. Just managed to get myself a pork burger. I'm crying out for a cup of coffee. So next stop is Amley. Yeah, so basically what we've done is we've followed the Telemark Canal all the way down from Darlin. Some really, really gorgeous twisty roads. Very bumpy though, not um, not the sort of roads for a sports bike or a sports tourer. So ideally if you've got like one of these adventure style bikes. Yep, so the 41, that was on my list of things to do. And what a fantastic road it is. Really, really good. Mountain passes, valleys, lots of twisties. Really
really chuck the bike in. And the only thing that ruins it is obviously where the where the weather has taken its toll on the road. Should be alright for fuel for the minute, I think. We've got enough till we get to Amley. Yeah, the 41 is a definite a definite good road to ride. So you can cat you can get the 41 from Christian Sand and ride that all the way up to uh, Amley and Troingen and then you can get the 38 then over to um, over to Darlin. Really really highly recommend doing that. Camp loads of campsites around here dotted. I mean you don't need to camp at Darlin but there's hundreds and hundreds of campsites around here. Perfect roads for the bike. Really is. Yeah, but what an awesome couple of days. Learned a lot about what I should take, what I don't need to take. Also learned quite a bit about this pain that I get in my shoulder. It's like a, it starts off like as a muscular pain and then as you go on, time takes its toll on the bike. It starts going into more like a nervy pain, so it's a sharp stabbing pains in there. And it's a little bit crippling, but all that just means is it just means that you have to take more stops on the bike. It's probably best off just doing an hour stop, hour stop. Yeah, so Drangadal was where we bought our Labrador Milo when he was a puppy. Pedigree Labrador. We got in touch with a, a really, really nice family in Drangadal and we bought the dog from there. And it was a uh, whole day adventure in the car. The kids were just throwing up because you just wanted to throw it in all the bends. Kids are like in the back throwing up. Wife's telling you to slow down. So I vowed that I would come back and I would do it again on the bike. And it's been good just for a little shakedown, just to make sure the tent doesn't leak and I can fit everything in and my checklist works. So I sorted myself out a little touring checklist, make sure that that's all right. The only gripe that I've got, the only thing that, whoa, that was a big bump. The only thing that I've got wrong is the charging the things on the bike. I bought a little hooky lead for the Samsung phone to plug into the USB, that doesn't work. I've not done right well with regards to electronics, shall we say. Oh, that was a little bit of a front wheel skidded out a little bit then. These Mitchell and Pilot Road 3s, just everywhere, it's just campsite after campsite. This looks a good one, this one. All these little cabins, these, I'm going to definitely stay in one of these cabins when we go up to the, when I do my trip up north. Got no sleep last night whatsoever in that tent. It's just chucking it down, it was. Should have said to him, have you got any cabins? But it was um, when we got there, it was a gorgeous night. Stopped and had a burger and a pint. A pleasant evening. A little bit boring on your own, but that's part and parcel of solo motorcycle touring, isn't it? You just. So I think these roads now to um, Evie, or Evie, whatever you, however you pronounce it, I think they're pretty much straight now. I think all the twisties have, uh, have all much gone. So this case now, just getting some miles under my belt, some hours, getting to Ambly, see if I can get a decent breakfast and a cup of coffee. Look at this, peeps. It's lovely, isn't it? Look at that. This is Ambly. Let's see if we can get a coffee. Is it open? Oh! Friday, 12 till. Oh my goodness me. Oh, there's only a cafe bar there, isn't there? I've just stopped at a petrol station to have a, um, a waffle and a cup of coffee. Quick pit stop. Bought myself a USB charging cable and it's not charging the phone. So something's amiss there, isn't it? Something's amiss. Yep, yeah, that's it now. We've just done the 41 
We can go left to Christian Sand, or I'm going to go straight on to um, RVA. Yeah, that's it. Now, a couple of hours left to go back home. But pretty much straight road now, so. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for uh, coming with me on these great roads. And I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the next one.